Hi guys, tonight we are going to be doing a process video for my dashboard for my A5 Filofax or Orange Original. I've already pre-cut my tabs, which I'm showing you here. I use the paper collection Story of Fall by Echo Park. I do not laminate my tabs because I like to decorate them. So these are all of them here and I'm just showing them to you one by one. I do six tabs in my A5. But tonight we are going to focus on the dashboard. We're going to be decorating it. I pulled some items that I thought would work. Bella Boulevard and Echo Park Story of Fall Ephemera Packs. Both of them are fall oriented and I thought they would work. I have a to-do post-it pad from Target. I have two pen gems, one in white and one in burnt orange. Now I'm not going to be using all of these for the dashboard part. I'm going to be using those to decorate the inside of the file of facts, but I just wanted to show you the items. I have these felt paper clips from Peach Palm that I love and some washi tape that I thought would work really well with these papers. I also have these really cute leaves that are super old but from my stash one is felt and one is glitter. The glitter one is really pretty and I thought maybe I could use those as well. I have this adorable, adorable bobble paper clip. I purchased it on Etsy, so I'll put the shop name below so you guys can take a look at that. I also have these little sweaters that I paper pieced. I use the Coco Daisy Sweater Weather stamp set. And Joy, thank you very much for sending this to me. I love the way the little sweaters came out. And I'm really happy about that. I have some flare buttons that I might use. So I pulled out my flare collection. And I also pulled out some of my sequins. I have 4x6 and 3x4 cards. Also from the Story of Fall collection. All by Echo Park. There are a few random cards in there that I end up using, but I'll point those out. And I have some enamel dots, both by uh, Doodlebug and by Simple Stories, which is Sweater Weather. And I have some random wood veneers that I thought would work well with this all too. Now you guys know I love my plus glue tape runners. I use all three sizes and we have Bella with us tonight, so she's just going to walk over across the screen and pretend like nothing's happening, <laughs> but she only visits once. So I have my tape runners all ready to go. And we're gonna focus on the dashboard. All the other items I'm gonna use to decorate the inside of the file effects, but I will do that in another video. So I'm going to open up my rings and I'm gonna pull out my dashboard. And I did add this one sticker at the bottom that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. That's the only thing I pre-added before taping. It's also from the story of fall and I have the 6x6 six six paper pad that I'm also going to add into this. I also have the 12x12 12 12 papers that I used to cut the dashboards and the dividers out so I have that as well and I also have the stickers and the letters from that collection. Okay, so we're going to get into this. I'm actually going to remove the dashboard. I just want to make sure that my file of facts is protected. If not, I could possibly get a lot of glue and a lot of paint on it. So I'm going to put it safely behind me. I'm going to speed up the video and I'm going to do this like I do my project life process videos. And I'm just flipping through and I'm looking for some cards that I think are going to work really well. I like that wood grain one and I like the that blue one. Neither one is from uh, Story of Fall. I am in around the corners so that they match. I use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner chomper and I'm going to layer those two cards together. I believe I end up changing the wood grain one in just a moment but you'll see that in the process. And I'm flipping through and just deciding what card I want to use. I really like the one that says Harvest, Give Thanks, uh, this setup is for Thanksgiving and for the fall, so I feel like that would just be perfect. And here is my little sweater that I cut out and paper pieced and used my Copics to color. And I love the way it came out. So I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay this. That's when I removed the orange wood grain card and I go to my 6x6 six six paper pad and I'm going to try and find a different pattern to go with this. That wood grain one just wasn't working for me.
Okay, so I'm going to just randomly flip through everything and I find this orange one that I really, really like. It's so pretty. So I just have to cut it down to four by six because I want it to match the other card. And I'm kind of off screen here, guys. Sorry about that, but I'm using my Fiskars paper cutter and I'm just going to trim it down to four by six. I'm also going to round the corners so it matches with the other card. And I really like the way that looks. At first I thought maybe I wanted to use that side, but I do really like the orange side. And I'm happy with that, so I'm going to take out my plus tape runner and I'm going to start putting everything down. And I just double layer the cards like that so the placement comes out right. I think it's just easier that way. If I try to do it piece by piece, I end up not layering it properly for some reason. And then I'm going to take my other tape runner. I like the blue one for this really because it's a little wider than the pink. So I switched over to the, my blue tape runner. And I'm just going to put down that card that says Harvest Give Thanks. It's so pretty. I love it. And then I'm going to take my little sweater that I paper pieced and I'm going to use my Tombow glue and I'm going to glue it down over the word harvest. I'm just going to cover up that little yellow leaf and I really love the way that came out. Okay, now I'm going to go to my wood veneer stash and I'm going to kind of just flip through things. Here I thought maybe I was going to put four cats down at the bottom to represent my four kitty cats and then I kind of changed my mind. So you guys know how I do this. I flip through everything that I have <laughs> to see what would go good and what I think wouldn't go good. The good vibes was cute, but it just didn't go with the whole Thanksgiving theme that I was going after. And I'm just looking at these different leaves. I end up liking that one there, but I don't want to keep it wood. So I'm going to use Tim Holtz's D uh, Distress Paint and Peeled Paint, which is the color name. And I'm going to paint it because I want it to be green. A lot of this collection has green in it as well, so I thought that I would bring in some green here. So I'm just going to paint up that leaf. I do this a lot in my project life, so I figured I'd probably be okay doing it on my dashboards and my planner as well. <laughs> I'm going to flip through some of my sequins here. I have a ton of sequins, so it takes me a few seconds to pull out the right colors that I'm looking for. And I really like that light blue. It plays off of the background card that has the light blue in it. And I'm just going to use my tweezers and some Tombow glue to get those glued down. That one was giving me a little hard time, the lower blue one. It wasn't laying flat, so I ended up just replacing it and pulling in another one, and then it laid flat with no problem. I'm going to take out my stamping up rhinestones that I totally love and I'm going to pull out two rhinestones and I'm going to put them in the center of my sequence. I really like to finish off my sequence with something in the center. They kind of look too blah and plain if I don't do this. So I tend to do this a lot, typical style that I have. I'm going to pull out some enamel dots as well. And I'm looking for a brown color. I want to play off the brown that's in the sweater. So I'm just going to put in a brown enamel dot. And I really like the way that came out. Um, my leaf is now dry, so I'm going to place it down in that lower corner. Um, I end up taking that leaf off later. You guys will see that in the process. It's not always perfect. Sometimes I change my mind halfway through. I'm going to go to my sticker sheet and I'm going to find this thankful and I love it. I think it's so cute. I love the font. I love everything about it. So I'm going to put it right up top. And even though it says give thanks on the bottom and it's a little repetitive, thankful and then give thanks, it's okay. It's Thanksgiving. We should be very thankful for everything multiple times over. <laughs> So I'm going to go back to my um, sequence and I'm going to put sequence in the top left hand corner. I just feel like visually it'll balance with the sequence that I have in the lower right hand corner of the 3x4 card. So I'm going to repeat the colors and the pattern up on the top. So it's everything the same. I'm using my Tombow glue to secure everything down. I'm going to add the rhinestones to the center of the sequence as well. 
just to finish them off. It gives them a really clean finished look. And I'm going to add another enamel dot in the brown. And again, the enamel dots were from Simple Stories uh, Sweater Weather Collection, not from Echo Park's Story of Fall. But they matched really well, so I brought them in. You don't always have to stick with everything within the same collection. There's lots of times when collections repeat colors. So it's always fun to go through your stash and see what you have. Now I was going to put that washi tape there, but I didn't like the pattern of it. So I'm going to switch it up to this uh, checkered one instead. It's hard to see on my camera, but in real life it did show up well. But don't worry guys, because I changed that later too. <laughs> There's a lot of changes that go on on this dashboard, but I like to show the process guys because I want you guys to see that it's not always perfect. Now I had an idea when I thought about putting the cats at the bottom, I ended up putting the two little potty people wood veneers. I'm using my Tim Holtz Distress Paint and I'm going to color them a nice brown color to bring out the brown that's in the sweater. It's supposed to represent me and my husband and I just thought they were really, really cute. And I'm just gonna give them a nice coating, and I always do the edges as well so you don't see the raw wood on the side. Sometimes I leave my wood veneers plain, but sometimes I like to paint them as well. In this case, I wanted to paint them, and I'm gonna use my Tombow glue to adhere them down. And I end up really, really liking this. I think it looks so cute. So that's how they came out really adorable. I'm going to clean up a little bit and then I'm going to go back to my sticker sheet. I want to add a few more stickers to this. Um, on the top I wanted to use this little swirly sticker. Um, it didn't really fit so I tried to put it on the side but I didn't like that so I peeled that off and I decided that I was going to put it on the top anyway even if it hung off a little bit because I would just use my scissors to trim off whatever hung over the edge and that it would still look good in that corner. So I'm really happy with how that came out. I just wanted to give a little definition. Here I go guys, this is when I start tearing things apart. <laughs> I pulled up that washi tape because I did not like it and I end up putting this washi tape instead. This washi tape is from Doodlebug Designs and it's really cute. I like it and it incorporates the green that I wanted to incorporate and it looks much better to me. And here I go ripping up the leaf. Now guys, close your eyes. This gets really, really ugly. I tear at this and I rip the card, but it's totally okay because everything is fixable. And I find this really cute leaf sticker to cover it up. And I'm gonna use my uh, glue eraser to get some of that glue off the card and put down that uh, fall leaf sticker and it's all fixed. It's like it never happened. <laughs> and I like it much better. Um, I find this little sticker that says Love Fall, and I like that. I'm going to add that down at the bottom of the 3x4 card next to the sequence. I think that looks super cute. I wanted to put something up on the top, so I just have an arrow that points towards the thankful. And then I want something near me and my husband, the little potty people in the corner. <laughs> I think that's what they're called, potty people. <laughs> and I find this wood veneer that says family, and the only problem is it's a speech bubble and it has that little thingy on it that's kind of getting in the way because it's pointing in the wrong direction. So I go back to my sticker sheet and I look a little bit more and I find this little arrow that I like that points towards us. And I want to put that family one there. See that little speech bubble thing right there? So I made the decision to cut it off with my scissors. And it did leave a little bit of a pale mark, but I am going to fix that. I take my brown Tim Holtz Distress Paint and I just clean up the edge. And you never even know that I cut anything off of it. So I kind of did that off screen, sorry guys. Now I'm going to take my Wild Honey Tim Holtz Paint and I'm going to paint the family wood veneer because I think it's just going to look really pretty in that mustard yellow and I'm going to do the edges in brown. So I'm going to show you the two paints here. Walnut Stain and Wild Honey are the two colors I used. 
and then I am going to use my Tombow glue and adhere it down next to, I guess, me and my husband down in that corner. And it says family and it's pointing to us. So that's it guys. That is the whole dashboard complete. I will show you a close up of it. I really love the way it came out. It's super cute and I'm really happy with it. So I'm just going to um, add one more thing. I'm never happy guys. I always feel like I have to add one more thing. So I'm going to this collection by Bella Boulevard and I find this really cute tab. The only problem is the back is white and it's going to show on the back of my dashboard. So I'm going to use the wood stain Tim Holtz distress paint again and I'm going to paint the back of it because it's going to go against that card that says fall so I kind of wanted to have like a distressed kind of wood look anyway and I end up putting two coats on it and it really solves the problem so it's no longer white on the back and it actually matches and looks like it belongs in that card so I really like this tab I wanted to add it so I'm going to put it across the top and sorry I'm a little off screen but I'll correct it in a, just a minute so you guys can watch and I'm going to put it up there and see how it looks great against that wood grain and I'm going to just use a random washi tape here to hold it in place and there's the tab I'm going to put it in my binder and I do end up changing the positioning of it I want it just to the other side a little bit more so that's why it's great to use washi tape to put on tabs because you can always move them and that's it guys that is everything I'm going to show you another close-up of everything I'm really happy I love that it says love this because I did love it <laughs> and that's how everything came out and I have a plastic fly leaf that I'm going to use to cover it. It protects everything and nothing gets caught on any of the pieces that are raised off the page. And that's it guys. I hope you like this. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Bye.